brilliant. Uh, so I will just run through very quickly. I don't want to repeat myself too much because some of you guys have probably heard this a few times already. Uh, but in essence, uh, Code is Science is a project that is aimed towards making sure that code, as in computer code in uh, science is open source. Because uh, disappointingly, quite often it isn't. And if the computer code that's used to create science results is wrong, the science is going to be wrong too. So it's really important that it's open and that people can rerun it and examine the code uh, just so that we can make sure that the science in question is right. Um, so I think I've mentioned earlier, we've had a lot of good luck with things like Hectoberfest bringing in helpers. Um, bringing in other contributors and people who've starred the repo, things like that. Um, but most recently, one of the nice things, I attended OpenCon CAM, and at OpenCon CAM, uh, that's CAM, CAM short for Cambridge there, um, we had, had the chance to have a focus group to discuss the issue a bit further. So it's not the first time we've discussed it, but every time I discuss it in a group, I've found that people come up with different ideas about why it's a problem, um, on what we can do about it, and different issues relating to it, which was, I thought, quite cool. So at came, uh, the Cambridge OpenCon, the, the discussion revolved a lot around things like, I never shared my code because um, I, I was coding on private data that I couldn't share, so there was no point sharing my code. You know, why, why should I make it open source if you can't run it anyway? And we came up with the possible solution of generating dummy data that looks like the private data you can't share, but that actually you could um, still share the dummy data because it's no longer private. It just resembles the same shape and allows you to run the code. Uh, another one was, you know, oh, maybe I've only written three lines or six lines of code, so maybe that's not important enough to share. Um, and we managed to go through with that by saying, well, actually, it's really good to share those because nothing is easier to review and ascertain that it's correct than six lines of code. You know, sometimes code can run into literally hundreds or thousands or even millions of lines of code and peer reviewing that is, is a bit frightening. But um, when you've got just six lines, it's really, it's, it's the right time to share and to make it open. Uh, so what you can do to help out, um, I can't get a tab because Zoom's overlaying it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to go back to the, to the um, okay, uh, there we go. Okay, I've gone back to the correct thingy. So there's a couple of things. I'm still aiming to try and get to 100 stars on GitHub just so that I can register for a um, open source donations management tool that allows us to, um, open, to manage donations transparently. Um, but it needs 100 stars to even apply for that. So if you have a GitHub account, please go to Code of Science and uh, link, uh, click on the star button for me and I will love you forever. Uh, <laughs> alternatively, I'm probably going to quite a few events in 2018, that's the plan. So if you know of anything interesting or fun that you think I could maybe talk about or run further workshops about getting code to be more open in science, then please suggest them, I would love to hear from them. Um, or if you have time to look at it and you think you might like to pick up an issue, please browse the GitHub issues as well. And I think that's everything. Thank you very much.